Hello audio folks. Today we are going to show you how to make the mixing process more efficient by designing your own templates. As you may know, mixing is an art of balancing instruments by using tone shaping devices like EQ, manipulating dynamic range, adding reverbs and delays to create space and much more. Sometimes mixing requires you to set up a complex session with many instruments, groups, and effects routing. To do this, every time you create a new mix can be time consuming. This is why creating templates would speed up your workflow. A mixing template allows you to have groups, effects, and plugins, so your session is partially set up before starting the mixing session. This video will show you how to design a mixing template tailored to your needs. The first thing you'll want to do is create a new session. You can toggle to the template selection and choose empty. From here, go ahead and save the session in a new folder. You can title the folder first name underscore mix template. Once you see a blank session, go ahead and title your session first name underscore mix template. At this point, you can start designing your template. Once you have a blank session, you'll probably want to start creating groups. Groups are a way of controlling multiple tracks in one location. For example, if you wanted to turn down the volume of all drums, instead of individually decreasing the volume of each drum, like the kick, snare, hi-hat, you can create a group and turn down the group track instead. You can also add plugins like EQ and compression on the group that will impact all the drums. This is a great tool and technique to further enhance your sound you're looking for. If you're doing music production, you can create the common groups like drum group, bass group, guitar group, keys group, vocal group, or more. To do that, go to project, add track, and then group. Once you see this screen, make sure your configuration is set to stereo, your audio outputs are set to stereo out, and you can leave the folder set up as create outside folder. Then name your group. Then click add track. And there you have it, your first group. Now when you import drum tracks, you can easily group in here without having to create the group track over and over and over again. I'm now going to create the other groups that I mentioned before. Project, add track, group. Notice that control shift G is the keyboard shortcut to add groups in my session. Okay, there's my bass group, guitar group, okay, keys group, and vocal group. Now that you have all your groups, you can start adding effects tracks for reverbs and delays or other time-based effects. To do that, first go to Project, Add Track, then Effects. In the Effects box, choose the effect plugin that you'll like to use. This could be reverb, delay, or any other time-based effects. I'm going to choose a reverb. Now because I'm using a stereo effect like reverb, I'm going to make sure my configuration is set to stereo. I'm also going to make sure that my audio outputs is set to stereo out. And under the folder setup configuration, I'm going to leave it as create outside folder. Then I'll name my reverb. Just a quick tip, I usually like to name my reverb by the sound, by the preset. So for now, I'm just going to title reverb. And then when I choose the actual reverb that I'm going to use, 
I'm going to name this by the preset that I choose. For example, I can now call this my plate reverb. And there you have it. Now go ahead and create a few effects. Okay, maybe I want to use a different kind of reverb here. All right, let's just call this reverb for now. And let's choose something else. Like small hall. And maybe I want to choose a delay. So project, add track, effect, control, shift, F. Let's use our shortcuts. And I'm going to use maybe a delay this time. So let's go to our delays. Stereo delay is good enough. Let's go ahead and add track. Notice I didn't title the track. So Nuendo automatically titled it for me for this default title based on the plugin that you're using. And maybe I want to make this a quarter note delay. Okay. With no feedback and 100% wet. Anytime you're using a time-based processor, make sure that your dry-wet ratio is always 100% wet. All right, and now I can call this my quarter note delay. All right, so, and then I can create as many effects as I want. The cool thing about designing templates is that you can store your favorite plugins that you can use for certain instruments or groups. For example, sometimes I like to use Nuendo's tube compressor on my drum group followed by an EQ. With templates, I can have those two plugins ready for me every time I work on a new mix. To do that, go ahead and add the plugins you like to the group tracks you created. This may change over time as your mixing techniques will evolve. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to my drum group here. So the tube compressor, Nuendo stock, right? I'm going to go ahead and keep this at 100% wet. And then followed by an EQ. And again, I'm just going to use Nuendo stock studio EQ that it comes with, right? So every time I upload my drums on this project, I have these two plugins ready to go. And for now, if I wanted to, I can have them on bypass when I save the mix template. So once you're done designing your template, it's now time to save it. So you can head over to File, then click Save as Template. In this screen, you can name your template first name underscore mix template. Then you can choose your attribute. I'm going to choose Template Category. Then click OK. Now, every time you open New Window, you will see your template under the template selection. Let's just double check. File, open, template, and there's my mix template. I can hit Create. And I could save this session wherever I want to save it. Right, I'm just going to go here. Now, every time I open up the session, the settings and the design is all going to be the same. So I hope you discovered how you can make your workflow more efficient by designing your own template. And always make sure you're updating your templates based on your new techniques, gear, and plugins. I hope this helps. Feel free to like and subscribe if you found this channel useful. And please comment if you have any questions. Take care.